Okay, Cheryl Johnson here, and I'm outside. Can you hear the dog next door barking? I sure hope he comes around. There you are. Hey, say hello, Arwen. Okay, I'm gonna try something different. I think in this part of the new year, as it comes along, I'm gonna start making life easy instead of so hard. I'm gonna start doing uh, videos that talk to you about art and how I create and give you some quick tips and easy secrets. So let's go inside and look at some art. I think that would be the best thing for us, okay? The first thing, I'm gonna go in my office and show you uh, a painting. Well, I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna take it outside because the uh, outside it's brighter and, and uh, it's easier to see. <clears throat> and I want you to see it. Okay, there's the piece of art. This is actually a secret forest, but I love this painting and I've actually got it hanging in the, the um, my living room. Okay, let me teach you a little bit about this painting. This is done with a palette knife and it's in oil and it's really vibrant colors. Look at that pink. Um, it's got scraping and uh, different textures and different values. Notice how you keep the values from uh, close to one another and in contrast to one another uh, that will cause your eye to draw. And then when you use dark colors, you get really a nice strong feel. And then you can drop in little intimate stories. And I also added texture here across the bottom. If you keep your painting where the darks are to the bottom, that will actually give you an illusion of a landscape perspective, which is kind of fun. It's okay. So let me talk to you about creativity. I'm all over the place in creativity and creating art. And I really find that I'm drawn to so many things and that's what makes it so interesting and so hard. Okay, I'm gonna hang up this painting. Uh-oh. Oops, there it is, it's up on the wall. Well, it's almost on the wall. I won't worry about it. Well, there it is. Oops, I got it upside down, hold on a second. Well, that's a little bit better. Sorry for the glare. If you'll notice, it really is kind of like a uh, landscape and it's always great to see it in the environment. Uh, I pick up art everywhere. I went to see my sister in Montana and we went by a building that was burnt down and I picked up this piece that was completely burnt metal and it looked like a heart. So I just brought it home. Just a nice memory. Well, I'm gonna take this back outside because I wanna talk to you just for a second and just say a few more things. So let's, let's go back outside. And I'm outside in my home in North Carolina. It's a beautiful day, a uh, day before Thanksgiving. And I wanted to say thank you because I am grateful for you, all the people that subscribe and uh, come to my Instagram and Facebook and YouTubes. And I really appreciate all the support and on the Art Lessons Now site and all the things that I've tried to do to create this year to share with you during this COVID time. I wanna share with you a little bit about the importance of being just spontaneous and creating. I wanted to show you a painting. This one happens to be a painting that's one of my favorite. It's actually for sale out there. And um, I love this painting. Now, what is it I love about it? Well, let me talk to you about it. This is actually from my series of Secret Forest. And um, I use palette knife, and this one happens to be in oil. And it's just a lot of creative colors, and I love color. This year may change a little, and I might get more minimalistic, but I wanted to share that one with you. What I want to say to you as we wind down this year is, Take the time to do something for you. Be creative, get out your paints, your paper, do something, sculpt, get some sculpty, I don't know, do something to be creative. And take the time for yourself. You know, life is about spending time with those you love, but it's also taking time for you. So take the time for you, take the time to be creative, get out your supplies, go up to your studio or in your kitchen or in your bedroom or outside and Put something together that you feel inspired about. Just create. Then 
check out my website, CherylJohnsonArtist.com, and also Art Lessons Now. And please follow me on all the Instagram, social media, Facebook. And I'm working really hard to set up e-commerce so you can buy directly. And I can put things out there that are affordable. So this is my new method. I hope that um, it works for you. I'm going to try not to be so caught up in uh, the method and the madness and just do things spontaneously. So thanks for the time. This is Cheryl Johnson and I'm an artist. Have more joy every day.